It's Tubby time. Happy Sunday. Now today's Tubby time. I was originally going to talk about um, something else, but as I was researching and researching, I discovered that there's so much to unpack with this upcoming topic that I'm going to wait. I'm going to press pause on uh, recording that one just so I can get it done right. So again, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my page so you can see the story when it is Ready. In other news, I did some new nails. I did the pointy ones. You see? Oh, I love these pointies. Ram, don't mess with me. I'll poke your eye out with these bad boys. These joints are awesome. Anyway, I digress. The other thing that I have in this topic, during this topic, of tubby time for <laughs> this tubby time topic blah, 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 is a uh, oh you see my body you don't see my body because I'm under the bubbles hey today I got a little bit of a cocktail with me today because I had a long week so I needed to reward myself with a dang cocktail I'm drinking vodka and soda and lime, and it tastes really good. So cheers, cheers, and cheers. Mm. I just wanted to talk today about the movie on Netflix, The Passing. Now, I was so excited about this movie when I saw the trailer for it a couple months ago. You know, there's nothing like a good old fashioned movie that explores colorism and what it has been like for black people and probably all kind of people, color people, <laughs> colored people, <laughs> only I'm allowed to say that because I am a person of color, um, uh, people of color experience. So the movie passing is set in the 1920s and it's about two light-skinned black women navigating their way through life. One of these black women, well actually both of them, are very light-skinned and I guess could pass for white because, you know, back in those days, can't argue, I mean, even in today's days, it's probably easier being white than it is to be a person of color. But enough, we're not really gonna get into that. We all know what was going on last year, last summer, what's still going on. So we don't really need to get into that. What I wanna get into is this movie, okay. So the movie, like I said, I was very excited about, ended up being a total letdown. First of freaking of all, the two women who are very talented that were cast to play the roles, the starring roles, didn't look like they could pass to me. They look like like regular light-skinned black women to me. Um, and some could argue that the point, especially when it comes to the book, because this movie was based off of a book, the point was that they're trying to pass, or the one woman's trying to pass as white wasn't really fooling anyone. So maybe that's that. I need to read the book to better understand that a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that was the first thing that I noted. The actresses to me could never pass for white. The second thing that I noticed was the choice of the director to shoot the film as a black and white. Now, 
maybe I need to research, but I'm thinking, first off, the reason why they did it in black and white was to hide the fact that these women were not necessarily um, past, they, they were not white passing in my eyes. And the third thing was the pace. The movie was very slow. And I, I I can appreciate what the director was trying to do. I feel like he was trying to go for like this artsy thing, which is totally fine. I just think it might have been unnecessary as it was just it was just so slow. I don't know. I really, 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 really wanted to like this movie I really wanted to like this movie I wanted this movie to give me the imitation of life feel like um, from I forget was it the 40s I forget when the 1940s version of imitation of life came out um, I forget right off the top who the actresses were but I'm gonna I'm post it I'm gonna post it here I'm gonna put it up so you can see what I'm talking about if you are curious about like or diving deeper into black people trying to pass imitation of life oh child that one get your tissues ready that one right there is a tear jerker that is like in my top 10 movies of all time and i wanted to add the passing right up there next to it I think another good movie to watch with regards to this topic is The Human Stain. I think that one has Anthony Hopkins and he's passing for a, a white man back in, you know, a long time ago too. So, you know, if you are interested in that, I suggest you look at that one too. But yes, that imitation of life, child, honey, child, now. Yes, Lord. I think I might have to watch that again this week. I gotta find it somewhere. Does anyone know where it's streaming? I gotta get that. Anyway. As I said, today is Sunday. I'm relaxing with my... <laughs> with my cocktail. Mm -hmm. and I hope you are too I hope you enjoyed your weekend and again please subscribe please subscribe to my channel share it with all your family and friends and stay tuned <laughs>